Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a recreation of one of Harouche's um, looks that she did on Kylie's app. Although it's not a Kylie look, like, and it wasn't on Kylie, it was actually on another model. Um, I really, really liked the look. It was like a bronzy look with a chocolate lip. Um, the lick, the lick, the lip is actually um, Kylie's lip kit in True Brown, but I don't have True Brown. Um, it actually sold out within like seconds so obviously i couldn't grab it but i would pay 30 dollars for that thing i would um it's actually really really pretty and um yeah i was surprised at the colors that she came out with they're really really nice but um yeah i hope you guys really like this look i won't talk a lot and um again i'll list all the products in the description down below so you guys could um look for them and stuff but yeah uh enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial and thank you guys again for watching with um nyx's primer and it's actually in nothing <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and take this um, waterproof primer by nyx and i'm gonna distribute that all over my eyelid and i'm gonna take it down a little bit to my waterline um because i'm obviously gonna put shadow there too and then I'm going to go in with Makeup Forever's Aqua Cream uh, Shadow Base in number 12. I saw that Harouche used a cream base first and then she topped it off with eyeshadow. So whatever she's doing, I'm doing. And I just um, blended it out with a MAC, I think it's the MAC um, 286 brush. Now I'm going to take Tarte Cosmetics Tarte Lead uh, in a Bloom palette and use the color, I want to say it's Rebel. Yeah, it's Rebel. And put that all over my crease. And that's going to be a transition shade um, because I'm also going to go in with a deeper color later on. And I'm just using a Makeup Bella brush. Uh, again, I got this one at in my Ipsy bag, I think, like a really long time ago. So I'm just blending that into my eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Firecracker. I didn't use any brush. I just used my finger. Sometimes your finger is your best tool, so that, I, that is why I use my finger. And plus, it just um, makes it easier to pack on the color a little bit more and make it uh, more intense. And now I'm just blending uh, that Firecracker into my crease a little bit because I don't want to have any harsh lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the color Leader, which is just a deeper, like, burgundy brown color, and deepen my crease uh, so my eye could have a little bit more depth and it just doesn't look blah, you know what I'm saying? Plus, this is the same shade that um, Harush used in the video. She actually used the whole palette in the Natasha Dawn palette, so, but I don't have that one, so that's... I just stuck to the tart one. And then I also saw that she put Funny Girl in the middle of um, the lid to give it a little bit of more, a more pop. So I'm doing that too. And then I'm taking my NYX liner in black. And I'm going to use that gel liner as a guideline. And this angle brush that is by Ardell. It's actually for the brows, but I use it just for, just for gel liner. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with... Um, NYC's liquid liner in black. Don't worry if you guys can't get eyeliner like right away. Um, it takes practice and trust me, I'm not a pro at it either. Uh, I just take my time. Um, and then they say to hold your breath when you're doing your eyeliner, which I find that to be a really good trick too. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and take this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras and... I actually had a full tube of it, but I don't know where it's at. So yeah, we're just going to move along. But um, I'm going to take Funny Girl and put that on my inner corner to give me a really nice highlight in my uh, inner corner. And just blend that out a little bit more with uh, this little brush from Anastasia's palette. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Firecracker. Firecracker, gosh, my Mexican accent is really strong. But I'm going to take Firecracker and um, Rebel and put that on my waterline and blend it out a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and go on to my face. I'm using Maybelline's Baby Skin. Um, this is a really cheap primer and it works really, really good. And it works just as good as the Smashbox one. So, yeah, it's affordable. And, um... 
sorry I was looking at the on the side it's just I have a bigger mirror on that side and it helps better than the little small one that I had right in front of me but anyways now I'm gonna go in with LA Girls uh, concealer in green as always green cancels out redness so that is the reason why I use it now I'm gonna go in with my fake beauty blender um, actually it's a real techniques brush I mean what is it sponge but I like to call it the fake beauty blender because that's what I mean that's what I feel you know I mean there's really nothing that can compete with the beauty blender but I mean this one is this one is really good I'm really impressed by it um, it does have like a plastic kind of feel to it but it's really really nice and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my L'Oreal True Match uh, Lumi foundations in the colors Warm 3 and Warm 4 again I mix these two together to give me the perfect shade and I use this one because again I am very dry on my skin um, and I'm just patting that into my face I also went down my neck because you want to look one color you don't want to look two shades again uh, make sure that you blend out that green concealer because trust me sometimes I've had incidents where like I don't blend out the green concealer right and then I put on my foundation and I look like a little green leprechaun so just you know avoid doing that just make sure you blend nicely then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Rimmel's uh, wake me up concealer in very fair I go underneath my eyes I take it around my nose because I get red right there obviously um, I don't take it down the bridge of my nose again I am dry and then I hide my blemishes a little bit more and then I go ahead and go in with uh, the real technique sponge and just blend that out and pat that into my skin make sure everything is just nicely uh, blended and yeah anyways hope you guys had a really nice New Year's Eve and you guys are safe and you guys were responsible and made responsible decisions but anyways just take that oh sorry I'm gonna go ahead and take my Aerospun um, translucent powder and just set the under eyes and then I didn't show you guys but I'm sorry um, I use my studio fix powder and I think I'm in the shade NC 30 or NC 35 and just set my whole face and now I'm taking the Kat Von D shade plus light palette and this shade in the middle yes I avoided using the Anastasia contour palette because as I said I feel like sometimes in all my videos I use the same uh, stuff over and over again and I just want to show you guys like different things you know so I'm just contouring my cheeks and then to define my cheeks a little bit more I went in with the uh, the beauty see I want to see I want to say beauty blender so bad but it's not a beauty blender it's a, a real technique brush but yeah I just defined my cheeks a little bit more and now I'm taking um, pure minerals glow and glisten cream and just put that as a base first and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Becca's Opal and uh, use that as my highlight. This this highlight is really really nice. It just it's a little bit gold, um, but um, yeah, I really like it. And I'm gonna take Tarte Cosmetics Blissful Blush and uh, put that on the apples of my cheek with a Mac. I think it's a Mac 180 something brush. I don't remember. But um, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the lips. And in the video, the model that Harush did um, the makeup on had this really nice chocolate lip. So that is what... Blah, 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 I can't talk, sorry. But that is what I'm going to use. And this is Jeffree Star's Dominatrix. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorials. Bye, guys. Are y'all ready for the YouTube look? Uh, the butthole Zoolander <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the video watch <laughs>